Hi, this is Dan from Rock Paracord. Today I'm going to be making a wide fishtail bracelet. It's going to look similar to this one here. Um, one thing I've seen is when you make it, you can uh, make it a little bit wider by using more loops going uh, through the side release buckle. I'm also going to be using a three quarter inch side release buckle instead of a 5 8 inch so it's kind of in line here with the actual band itself so what I have here is my normal supplies <clears throat> I have 12 feet of uh, purple and yellow uh, paracord here for you uh, LSU fans um, I have uh, my butane lighter forceps again 3 quarter inch side release buckle and scissors so let's get started okay first we're going to start out with our 12 foot piece of 550 paracord and we're going to fold it about maybe two feet in from one side and then we're going to take our female end here and we're going to loop it through And you may get away with using less paracord depending on the size you're making. Okay, get that nice and tight. Okay, and so right now over here I have my shorter piece and then this is my longer piece on this side. Okay, then I'm going to run this through the other end, the male end of the 550 cord or the uh, side release buckle. run it through and pull it all the way through okay now this is where you make it the size that you want over here on my little whiteboard I already have my sizes created here okay so depending on your wrist size usually make it about an inch and a half uh, longer or bigger round okay so now I got it tucked through here so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these loose ends and I'm gonna tuck it again through the female side And I will check again on the size I want it. Okay, the long end, now I'm going to tuck it through. Pull it all the way through. Now we'll see at the end on how much actual... 550 cord we have left over all right so I'm gonna check my size again okay now I'm gonna go get the loose ends okay again I got the long end here on the left short end on the right and I'm gonna tuck it another time on the female end And I always tuck it in from the top. Alright, the long end now. Okay. Okay, now, all right, I have it all wrapped around the number of times that I want to wrap it around. And so what I'll end up having is three strands on this side and three on this side. Okay. Okay, and now's a good time again to check your length. Make sure because you don't want to start weaving it and then realize that you made it too small or too big. Okay. 
Okay. So you're going to start from the male end and I'm going to hook it to my little um, thing that I made here. Just got a little hook there and then I hang the opposite side of the side release buckle on there. All right, now this small short piece hanging off, you're going to leave that hanging out. Now you can if you want, um, and I, I do this on my watch bands, I melt it to itself so that it doesn't come loose. But we're actually going to tuck that in later because I don't want it inside with these and then it ends up making one side fatter than the other. So, <clears throat> alright. So again, you want to have three sides on or three strands on the right, three on the left. Alright, so how you're going to start is you're just going to loop this over and under and pull it through. Alright, and then this side you're going to loop it over and under. Okay, and once you get a couple of loops around, then you can tighten it up and push it up. And one thing you want to do, you want to make sure you keep it nice and tight because if you're not consistent on the tightness, you have some spots that are bulged out a little more than the others and it won't look as cool. Alright, so there's the first few loops. Let's go a couple more. And it's just over, under, over, under, over, under. All the way through. Now, as since you have the three strands inside there, I mean, you could go ahead and do more if you wanted. Uh, using the three-quarter inch side release buckles, you could probably fit another loop in there. And you could make it even bigger, wider, fatter, whatever you want to call it. So now I'm just over, under, over, under. So I'll do that all the way down to the end, and then I'll uh, come back and show you what I do to finish it off. Okay, we're down here close to the end, and what you want to do is you want to try and weave in as many loops as you possibly can where you can't even fit another one in there and this is where one of those uh, paracordal needles would come in but for some reason I can't find mine I must have thrown it out with some extra paracord but again <clears throat> try and get through the middle here as many times as possible And so it gets in there real nice and tight. Alright, so that should probably do it. I could probably go one more. Let's try it. Yep. So now you have this piece, and if you notice, I have probably about maybe uh, 20 inches left. So <clears throat> you could probably go 11 feet for this, but again, this is a uh, smaller bracelet. So I'd probably stick with the 12 feet just to be safe. Alright, so I'm just going to cut off and leave a little bit hanging there at the end. And then what I like to do when I before I tuck it is I like to pull out the innards. Okay, so now I'll take my forceps and I'll pick probably about two loops down and I'll tuck my forceps underneath here. Slide them all the way through, 
grab the end, pull it through, pull it nice and tight. Okay, then I'll go to this end that I had hanging off, do the same thing, go about two loops down, grab the end, and pull it through. Alright, so now I got these loose ends here. So this is where I'll cut them off pretty close to the actual bracelet. And I'm going to take my lighter and light it up with trying not to melt anything else but that little piece sticking out. And then I push it down flat. There's that side. Okay, now I'll come to this side. Cut it pretty short. Make sure I'm not close to the bracelet. it up real good and push it down all right <clears throat> so there it is a little bit wider fishtail bracelet so you have more 550 paracord on you so you probably here have about 11 feet instead of probably about 8 feet if you make just the standard size and again, like I said, you can probably loop one more through here on each side and make it even wider and bigger round. Thanks for watching.